bamboo has been cultivated in India for thousands of years. However, the practice of plantation raised for commercial reasons has a relatively recent origin. Bamboo industry is rising rapidly and industry forecasts a steep rise in approaching future. Around 130 bamboo species are known to exist in India which make up a wide range to choose from in establishing a plantation has prioritized bamboo species on the basis of their relevance to the bamboo industry. They are Bambusa Balkua, Bambusa Bambus, Bambusa Newtons, Bambusa Palida, Bambusa Polymorpha, Bambusa Tulda. These VPCs specialize in culm cutting and branch cutting propagation for selected species and are producing high quality planting material which are supplied all over the country to various agencies and farmers. The VPCs are currently producing around 35,000 seedlings per annum. Earlier in homestead planting, the offset rhizome method of propagation was the first choice of the grower with limited number of plant stocks available for mass multiplication for commercial end users and vegetative propagation techniques. When the plant is not flowering, then there is no way to propagate through seeds. And uh, for this, we can go by vegetative propagation, which is simple branch cutting, stem cutting and rhizome cutting. The mission has supported for mass multiplication of planting material through tissue culture. With the breakthrough in tissue culture of some bamboo species, it is now possible to supply large quantities of high quality planting materials to growers at reasonable prices. And this is a, a bamboo clump actually we are standing and in this bamboo clump we can see 100 culms are there approximately from right from the bottom to the top if you see uh, 100 clumps are there and if you see uh, closely the, uh, each culm in the clump each culm this is called culm actually and in this culm if we see closely we can see it the nodes these are the nodes for example this is one node this is another node this is another node and between the two nodes this is called internode between the here if you see here this is the node this is also node between these nodes this is the internode so at each node at each node if you see here at each, each node there are one two three this is the bud actually each node if you see this is the bud in this there are one two three buds are there so from each stump actually from each uh, culm uh, we are from we should start for the vegetative propagation of the bamboo we should start taking the from the third or fourth node onwards we can take these uh, buds for the vegetative propagation of the bamboo so here we are uh, uh, seeing uh, this one culm of the bamboo and each culm is having uh, this uh, node you can see this node this is the node where the bud actually starts growing and this is another node actually this is see you can see this another bud is also there from each bud there are three shoots actually three shoots start actually and if at each node we can see three three shoots so here this is the node this is the node this is the node and between the two nodes there is an internode actually and each node is having the bud so each bud is having three uh, auxiliary buds actually. So from each node we can obtain three buds. In this bamboo what we have seen, there are around 33 nodes. So 33 nodes into three nodes, there are almost 100 nodes, 100 uh, buds. 33 nodes into three. So there are total 33 buds, 33 shoots. And each node we are having the buds actually. These are the auxiliary buds or these are our propagating, uh, propagules actually, propagating uh, uh, cuttings actually, by which we can, uh, 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 we can, uh, we can produce the, our uh, shoots, shoots for the propagating the bamboo in the dust. We can start taking the, these buds or the propagules or the bamboo cuttings from the node. We can cut it with a sharp knife, it may be sharp edge, sharp edged knife also, or maybe uh, chisel with the very sharp edge chisel we can actually cut it uh, so after cutting it actually we can obtain uh, the shoots 
this is the this is how we actually operate. If you see, if you see here, this this is the bamboo cutting obtained from the single node, from the single node of the bamboo. Here, one, two, three, four, five, six. Almost this uh, from this uh, auxiliary bird, we can obtain almost uh, six uh, uh, birds, six propagules, or maybe six shoots, or maybe six bamboo cutting. So approximately from each bamboo culm, we can obtain obtain almost 100 uh, uh, bamboo cuttings so for growing the uh, 50,000 seedlings by vegetative propagation in our nursery we require uh, some around two person who should work for five days so almost uh, uh, 10 men days are required to produce the 50,000 uh, propagules so for if we count the per culm per culm it comes around to be only 10 rupees uh, labor cost for obtaining uh, 100 uh, uh, bamboo cuttings for um, per per culm 100 uh, uh, for 100 bamboo cuttings we require 10 rupees 10 rupees to 20 rupees it comes the labor cost actually which we have calculated so two persons two persons are required to work for uh, almost 5 days uh, if, if they can uh, in five days they can uh, complete the uh, production of uh, 50, uh, around uh, hmm? 50,000. So two persons, uh, two persons if they work uh, for five days each day, two persons can produce almost 10,000 uh, bamboo cuttings uh, from uh, 100 uh, culms. Each culm provides almost uh, 100 uh, bamboo cuttings because each uh, bamboo each uh, node gives you three to four to six uh, bamboo cuttings uh, five thousand so two persons can produce uh, ten thousand uh, cul uh, bamboo cuttings each day so in five days they can two persons in five days can produce uh, fifty thousand uh, bamboo cuttings like this actually so this uh, these fifty thousand uh, bamboo cuttings actually we can uh, transplant them in the eight by twelve uh, uh, bags in our nursery and uh, there uh, the, the cost of the uh, production of each 8 by 12 uh, um, seedling for uh, 5 to 6 months with all uh, nursery cultural operation comes about to be 8 rupees and here it comes about to be around uh, uh, this uh, uh, 10 rupees 10 rupees uh, per uh, uh, seedling actually grow more biotech hosur a biotechnology based laboratory with its experience spanning two decades, has developed commercial protocols for Belkua and Newtons and is now producing close to 6 million plants in a year. Vegetative propagation of bamboo involves using part of the parent plant to produce a new plant. This is also called cloning since the plant produced is identical to the parent bamboo. If you see this particular bamboo, the originally planted bamboo is, um, is this small one, the small pieces which is produced from the polybag. And then later in six months time, this started producing this. Now this is one year old. And in one year old, this is produced this kind of a thick stems. And these stems, the one which is growing now, this from this height onwards, they start growing at a rate of one foot. And when they go to a higher height, then it start growing at a one and a half feet a day. There are several ways of accomplishing vegetative propagation. Segments of the underground modified stems, the rhizomes, have traditionally been used for raising new plants. Offsets is a method where the underground rhizome along with a portion of the overground stem is detached and planted as a separate plant. The other popular and very effective methods are cutting, where sections of a culm or branch can be made to root and placed in the soil to raise new plants. Propagation by vegetative methods has many advantages. Plants produced by vegetative methods are identical to the mother plant. Since all the traits of the mother clumps are passed on to the progenies, the growth performance of the progenies is predictable. 
the processes and steps involved in vegetative propagation are time tested and are easy to implement. Methods of vegetative propagation require comparatively little investment. The commercial gestation period of vegetatively multiplied plants is shorter than those of seed or tissue culture origin. The industry is now being provided with top class plants backed by world class knowledge base and an ever ready support. The industry that has been standing anxiously at the brink of growth is now confident of taking a step further because it knows that the plants are blooming all over the country and are just a call away from the factories.